Hi, this is Paul Salt from iPhone Dev TV, and I want to show you how to rename your Xcode project. I, I work a lot with Xcode projects, and I rename them because I copy a lot of my projects to show the steps involved in creating a full app. And a lot of times, Xcode will mess up on me. So when you want to rename your project, you need to click up here on the top and click slowly so that you can select it. And then you can go in and rename. Now you're going to press enter after putting the new name in. So we're up here on the left. I've renamed it from 12.2 to 12.3. Now I'm going to press enter and it's going to go ahead and tell me that it's going to rename things. Now, this is kind of a funny view because if you don't, if you, if you select don't rename, it's going to mess up things. It's not going to be what you want. So you have to select rename. But there's issues here, because when you select rename, all of a sudden you see an OK button. Do not press the OK button, because it will either crash Xcode or something bad will happen in the renaming process. So what I'm going to do here is hit rename. That OK button I do not want to hit. It's going to automatically go away, and then we should be good to go. Now, occasionally you can run into an issue where when you rename it, you no longer have an iPhone target. It just shows you a Mac 64-bit target. And if that is the case, you need to go to Edit Scheme, and under Run, you will see an executable. Sometimes this, for whatever reason, gets reset to None. And then up here, you can see where it says Matte Border Calculator. We see a little configuration wheel, and we see My Mac 64 bits. So now we can no longer run on the iPhone simulator. To fix this, all you need to do is, if I walk through the steps again, is click on this then edit scheme, select the run target, and then what you need to do is select executable, and this is under the info tab. So there's a couple different tabs here. You want to be under info, select the app, and then you can hit OK. If you do that, I'm going to do a clean build, so I'll do product clean, and I use the shortcut right here, which is the shift command K. And then we can go ahead and run and see if this works. And so everything seems to be working. Sometimes I find it beneficial to close out of Xcode. So if you close a project and then reopen it, so I have it right here, and then I can just open it up. Sometimes that also helps with any issues you might run into when you rename a project. So that was just real quick to show you how to rename the project and then how to deal with situations where you can no longer run your iPhone app. Thanks for watching.